Hi guys, Tim here doing another military history video for you today and this time I'll be talking to you guys about the Ludendorff Offensive. Now the Ludendorff Offensive was planned by Air, by one, well, one of the two most famous field, um, field commanders in the German army at the time, um, Erich von Ludendorff and he was planning a big German Offensive um, to kind of to get a swift, quick victory um, in the Western Front for the Germans, because from the middle of 1917 and right through 1918, the German German army had capitulated, capitulated, collapsed, and was in great need of help. <laughs> it ran out of resources because of the British blockade of German um, ports. And so um, Ludendorff, Eric, Mr. You know Eric von Ludendorff, had come up with this big plan um, in the spring of 1918 to, as they say, crush the Allies. But it never actually happened. <laughs> the first half of it, he was doing exactly that. But the second half, he definitely wasn't. <laughs> and that's where I get started. So the, um, the Ludendorff offensive, or can go by many names as one is the Kaiserschlang, the Kaiser's Battle, the Spring Offensive, of course it was in because it was in the spring, um, the Battle of St. Quangitan, because that's where it was at the Western France France. Um, because that's where in France it was, at the at St. Quangitan. So it's sometimes known as the Battle of St. Quangitan. Um, um, or Operation Michael, which was the Operation code name the Germans gave to it. But I'm just going to stick with the Ludendorff Offensive because that's the most well known of the uh, others. <coughs> <coughs> so, it all kicked off and started at in the morning at 4.35 on the 21st of March 1918 with a German, big German bombardment. Um, then the German let off their very famous stormtroopers, stormtroop battalions. Um, and they were their kind of, you know, they were the shock troops of the First World War. Stormtroopers were assault teams, lightning war, really lightning war, blitzkrieg of, of the First World War. Of course, it's, it's the second. World War. Um, so that was really the whole start. It did hit the Allies pretty bad. The Allies weren't expecting it, but <laughs> but so it did work up until half, you know, halfway when the, uh, Germany, you know, was doing well. Then, because it was mainly uh, on the on the uh, Allied front, front was mainly France and Britain because on the second half of that big offensive guess who turned up yep the doughboys the trenches um doughboys the uh u.s army um it joined up and that is when germany's big offensive failed is because the the u.s marines you know kind of saved the day in helping the Al british and french allies to push back the germans right through pardon me right through um the Hindenburg Line, which was a fortified trench net, work which, if Germany got into the struggle, they could fall back on, push right through the Hindenburg Line, right through France, and back very close to Germany, the borders of Germany. Um, just to say the Hindenburg line was set up and planned designed by Eric by one of, by another of those famous um, field commanders of German of Germany which was um, Paul von uh,
Um, yeah, Paul von Hindenburg. Yeah, he was the designer. Um, and <laughs> it was going so well for the Allies, from what they had, um, is all the resources that you could get, you know, horses, guns, artillery, men, everything you can think of. <laughs> so, it all, um, and also, uh, it was the first time Germany would ever use their um, first ever and only ever tank, the German A7V. Sturmpanzerwagen, as it's sometimes known as, armoured assault vehicle. So now A7V, just going off side note, A7V actually means um, the A7 is the name on the, on the door of the Russian military um, transport room, A7, mm -hmm. and V stands for Vilika, which means transport, no, vehicle, transport. So A7 and V. So yeah, um, but, but yeah. Out of 1918, they only made 20 of them. Of you know, out of out of when they started them in 1918, and when the war ended in November 11th, 1918, um, they only made 20. That's why they're very rare to find, and that's why I only have this little model of it, which is very good, very nice model actually. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so yeah, um, so the British and French and American troops, well, British and French, we'd start off with, kind of thought it was, um, quite interesting, not, they weren't scared of it, like the Germans were to their tanks, firstly, um, they thought it was interesting, because <laughs> it was, you know, nothing they'd never, you know, something they'd never seen before, very different to any other style of tank, you know, rhomboy type of shape of a British tank. Uh, or short stubby French Renault FT-17 French tank so it's very interesting then so um, but yeah that's a side note um, I've even done a separate video on talking just about the A7V so yeah which I'll link down in the description so yeah, as I was saying Ludendorff offensive um, it, all en it all ended in Allied victory Britain, France, US Allied victory on the 18th of July 1918 where the French had lost 77,000 men, the US Doughboys had lost um, 77 men, and the British had lost 177,700 and... Uh, no, sorry, one... I'll start again. One, the British lost 1,770... No, was it? 1,770... No, 177,379 men. Oh, that's a mouthful. So, yeah. Um, if you didn't get that, I'll say again. <laughs> One th um, 177,379 British troops died. Yep. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, that has been... Um, Anything else? Yeah, no, nope, that has been the um, um, the history, military history, about talking about the um, Kaiserschlag, Spring Offensive, or most commonly known as the Ludendorff Offensive, which started on the 21st of March 1918 and ended on the 18th of July 1918, where, as I've said literally seconds ago, the French lost 77,000 men, the US lost 77 men, and the British <laughs> lost 177,379 men. So, see you guys. Bye.